Hi everyone, today let's talk about choosing a key for tuning your lever harp. As you probably know, it's very common to tune your lever harp either in the key of C major or in E flat major, depending on your harp, whether it has all of the levers installed, the kind of music that you like to play, and even just your general understanding of key signatures. In today's video, I'd like to talk about why F major just might be a really good choice for you and your harp. When I got my very first harp, it was just a little 26 string lap harp and it didn't have any levers on it. So it made perfect sense to me to tune that to C major. The strings were tuned to a C major scale. And the piano player in me loved that because it was just like playing on the white keys on the piano. Now, when I was ready to advance to a bigger harp, this one, all of the levers were installed. And honestly, that was a bit of a mystery to me at first. So I continued to tune to C major for a while. It's what I was used to. Most of my pieces were in the key of C at the time. But when I went to my first harp circle, I actually had to sit out on some of the pieces because they were playing pieces with flats in the key signature. And that's when I realized that most of the others in the group were tuning their harps to E flat major, three flats in the key signature. So if that's new to you, here's what that means. So you see on my harp here, I've got all of my levers are down. But if I start on an E, I, you'll hear that this is actually an E flat. So when I tune this harp, I start with an E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D, and E flat. So that's my E flat major scale or the key signature of E flat major with three flats. You know what though, I don't tune all of my harps to E flat major, and I'd like to show you why, but I'll have to switch out harps and I'll go get my tuner. So hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I've swapped out my dusty strings for my Marini made bass lap harp which I've just had for a couple of weeks now. I've also got my phone here with my tuning app. I use a, an app called Clear Tune, and I'll link that down in the description below if you're looking for an app. So let me show you what can happen when you're tuning a lever harp and why that might have an impact on what key you decide to use for your tuning. So here we are, let's, let's use the F string as an example. Now I've got my tuning app screen right over here so you can watch. So here's my F with my lever down. All right, and that's quite nicely in tune, isn't it? That's holding nice and steady on the F. Now in an ideal world, when we raise the lever to F sharp, that F sharp should also be perfectly in tune. Let's look. Oh, do you see that that's a little bit sharp, isn't it? So that means that this harp needs to be regulated because those two pitches should be precisely in tune. I haven't had a chance to do that yet. So that's just one of those things about lever harps that you need to know. Now, so that F sharp was a little bit too high. It was a little bit too sharp, wasn't it? Let's look at another F and see what happens. Beautiful, that's precisely in tune. Now I'll raise the lever to make it F sharp. Let's watch. Oh, and that one is a little bit on the low side. It's a little bit flat. So now just think about this. If your harp is not perfectly regulated like this one, if you're tuning to E flat major, and you've got three flats in your key signature, if you wanna play in one of those very common keys like C major or G major, you're gonna to need to raise a lot of levers. If your harp is not beautifully regulated, you might find that it doesn't sound that great. 
So for that reason, I decided when I got this harp that I would tune to F major. And this is what it means. If I start playing on an F with my levers down, I'm gonna have F, G, A. My Bs are tuned as B flat, C, D, E, and F. So the key of F major has just a B flat in it. If I wanna play in C major, it's just a matter of raising the one lever, and that's gonna sound so much better. Plus, of course, there are so many beautiful pieces in the key of F major or the relative minor, D minor. In fact, you could go over to my shop and in the search bar, type in F major. Remember to put quotations in and the shop will show you a whole list of beautiful pieces that use one flat in the key signature. So if you have a harp that is currently tuned to C major and you have the B levers available, you might consider changing to an F major tuning. Remember, it's as simple as tuning your B strings down to a B flat instead of B natural. And that will let you play in the key of F major or D minor, one flat in the key signature. That opens up so many new pieces for you to play. So I hope this video is helpful. Remember to give the, the video a like and comment down below to let me know what key you like to tune in right now. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.